welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in this video we are going to try to dress up our character from the inventory rather than just these previews and I am going to begin with my hat. So let's go to our third person character and we need to create a new variable which is going to be equipped equipped helmet and we need to change the variable type to s inventory like so now i'm going to create a new function in my third person character which is going to be equip item function i'm going to categorize this with my inventory and i'm going to set a new input which is going to be a item data of a s inventory type variable and I'm gonna break the result from my item data. I'm gonna do a switch on string from my type variable because based on the type we will do some different functions. So I'm gonna add a couple of pins and I'm gonna call first one will be helmet armor pants and boots so if the type is helmet we are going to set our equipped item equipped helmet and we are going to set this as our item data like so and also I forgot to create one more variable because I think we don't have yeah, we don't have a clear uh, event, so I'm going to add a new variable, which is going to be empty item of the same as inventory type. And uh, this will be our default item, sort of. So we will use this as a reference to reset the item when we unequip it. So, now when we have this, we are going to drag in our helmet skeletal, like so. And we are going to set mesh, set skeletal mesh, like so. And I'm going to break this. Well, actually, I don't even need to break that. I could even get it from here but I'll rather yeah, I'll rather break this one but it doesn't really matter you could break uh, get from this break or from the equipped item because those are basically both the same but uh, since we are going to use some more variables then I think it's best if we do it over here and for the new mesh we're just gonna connect the skeletal mesh like so and connect this like so there we go and what I could do more is I could move these up a notch like so well quite a bit up actually because we are going to have more of these down here below so I'm gonna compile and save and now I'm gonna go to my UI folder to my item info and also I'm going to open up my UI inventory as well because we will need this and in the item info in the graph on clicked here we have the helmet um, helmet switch I could actually move these up a bit and I'm going to from the helmet I'm gonna cast to third person character again like so I'm gonna use this get owning player pawn as the object and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually I will copy these I'm going to remove an item from my inventory and connect this to target like so because we need to remove our equipped item and if this was a successful task if we removed our item then we are going to equip an item like so I could do a reroute over here so I don't get lost. 
like this. There we go. Actually, I really, really, really don't like these pins over here the way they are right now. So I could do a reroute over here as well. So it looks a little more clean. And I will connect this as well to the, this, to this one, and to this one. Like so. Great. There we go. And now if we have a helmet, we cast a third person character, we remove that item from our inventory. And if we do this successfully, then we need to equip our item data like so and we could just copy these or I think we can just connect these like so as well there we go so we can compile and save and I think if I'm not mistaken that should do it the next thing what I want to do is go to my UI inventory and I will rename my images, so I will select my hat. I'm going to rename this to helmet icon. And then this is going to be weapon one icon, armor icon, weapon two icon, Pants icon and the boots icon like so and there we go so now I can go to the graph and on an event construct we are looping for our inventory and I'm going to drag in item icons from our equipment so, like this, we can move this down a bit, get some pants, and get our weapons as well. So right now we only have helmets, so I'm going to move this down a bit. And I'm going to drag and set brush from texture, like so, and we are going to do this. Um, so. We have this event construct where we create our inventory. We are casting to the third person character. We are looping through our inventory to create items in our inventory. And here we have this execution node, the uh, execution path, where we are completing the task. And once the task is completed, then we are going to set this brush from texture for our helmet. Here we go. And for the texture, so now from my third person character I will get the equipped helmet there we go and I'm going to break this result move this even further back and I'm gonna connect the icon to the texture and collapse this again and it's going to look something like this so now we can compile and save so let's press play um, we need to remove our hat first. So let's go back to our third person character. Let's go to the view of port. Let's select our helmet and I'm just gonna clear this by resetting this to default like so. There we go. Leave the scaling as we created it but just remove the skeletal mesh and now if we press play we don't have a helmet so let's pick one up there we go press I we have a hat let's click on it and boom we remove this from our inventory we no longer have it in our inventory but as you can see the icon changed I don't have the icon for the helmet it's just a blank icon that I set in the item data and it shows that it has been successfully changed and it is on our head awesome it works just as it should so that's going to be it for this video and in the next video we are going to continue with our 
blouse, pants, and shoes to add more equipables to this system. And see you guys in the next video.